welcome to the video ladies and gentlemen i was going to do an update video on my life where i've been that'll have to be the next video now because we've had some news on the australian government banning daisy from xbox and playstation 4 if you already own daisy in australia you get to keep it and still play it but uh, no more purchases from now on it seems until the, some solution has come come around to solve this issue and it all revolves around cannabis being in the game files of course as many people have said they're totally fine with hunting other players, killing them, torturing them, and stealing their loot. But this little little bit of cannabis in the game files, that's a big no-no. We're still unaware whether the cannabis will actually be an official part of DayZ, whether it's in the game files or not, but it has been modded in by the community on the Steam Workshop on PC. Now, this is not the first time DayZ's run into issues over in Australia, as they have also earlier this week refused to rate DayZ on their rating board for whatever reason, even though it's already been rated for years of 15 plus. But as I've said, the important thing to take from this is there is no cannabis usable in-game for a benefit to your player on the PS4 or Xbox. It's only usable on PC via a community mod. So on console, there is no way you can smoke a doob. Is that what the kids say these days? Now I'm not all clued up on the Australian government and the way they've tried to stop certain games and what games they have tried to stop, but is GTA banned? Because that has a lot of drug references and usage in it as a benefit to the character especially in the modding community but bohemia interactive is a smaller independent company with a much smaller community probably an easy target for them to uh, take down as a an example maybe daisy has reported on the issue stating the australian player base is a big and very important part of our community at the moment we are looking for the best solution to keep the game on the australian market and pass the classification according to all regulations by the way, the thumbnail for this video is photoshopped by me. It originally was a rectal thermometer in the mouth, and uh, I just changed it for for a, for a spliff. All for shits and geeks. Knowing where I stand with DayZ and loving the Australian community, I know many of them, they're awesome people. I think this is bullshit. Sort it out, Australian government. Let the people play DayZ. With all that said, I really do hope that this issue can be solved ASAP, and the Australian community can get back to buying their favourite survival game on console. So as you can gather, this is kind of a spur of the moment video. It's kind of frustrating. So I feel you, Australian brothers and sisters, we all got your backs. I will get to finishing the channel update video covering my father's situation, where he's at now, my wife, me, and the issues that we've had to deal with. Everybody's got issues. It's a crazy world. Some people don't talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it here with you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a good time. Love y'all. And I'll see you peeps next time.